Hello my lovelies. Today's video is about why I feel Netflix's new trend of evocative chilling series is scary. So I have two tripods, none of which are available to me at this time. So this is what I have for now. Um, so three reasons. Because with new technology, hyper real clarity is showing the basest and strangest of human behaviors. And this is frightening because it's not taking humanity to some place very peaceful, geared towards problem solving, observing human nature, understanding each other better, but rather draining us through fatigue by shocking the system that cannot differentiate between viewing something and being in it, effectively draining us, and because the brain is designed to remember what it perceives as threats more than positive attributes from a survivalist point of view, it's against humanist agenda, in my humble opinion, to keep triggering the survival mechanism flesh suit people have on an individual and collective level because all it does is drain us psychically emotionally spiritually and leaves us depleted like being uh, let's say in a narcissistic relationship which leaves us wanting sugar because we our system is so depleted and exhausted that sugar seems like the thing that boosts us, that gives us this jump that we need after being in this situation of uh, constant exhaustion, fatigue. So the second reason is the old awe and shock technique that we've seen newspapers, media, everyone using is being taken to an, the next level due to the HD quality that we now have that has never been seen before in series like Westworld, which is not Netflix, but still, uh, and the latest, uh, which is very popular, this side of the world, Asia, and on the Asian side, which is the House of Secrets, the new series by Netflix, which basically talks about a family of 11 people that hung themselves in a very strange way so all I believe that does is trigger a very visceral instinctive part of the brain so this is the same part that's triggered when we see something like um, the part that is designed through generations of survival to react with nausea and shock uh, by seeing something like uh, disgusting body fluids up close, something like vomit, um, something gross like that, or seeing gore in the form of vicious murders or blood. Um, and third and lastly, because whatever we put into our subconscious sends subliminal messages and is stored somewhere in our psyche. So negative inputs create negative feelings, thoughts, and sensations. Um, a very good book that I can just refer that I just thought of this very second is The Power of the Subconscious Mind. I think that's what it's called. Yes, by Joseph Murphy. I read, I went through this um, entire book while driving on a road trip that I recently went on through the United States. Um, to the south and the east coast and this is a very wonderful book in terms of how important our subconscious mind is to our success our perception of abundance who we are and so many other things that are connected to it um, okay so that's all I have for this video and I'm glad to be back Glad to be making more videos. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ta da. Bye bye.